Hey guys, hope all is well. Sitting here smoking a stogie, just lit one up. After another good day, another great day. So uh, um, we're going to talk about Dan Bilzerian today. Now, Dan Bilzerian is a professional poker player. Um, he said two heart attacks by the time he was 25, which I'm sure was due to steroids. Um, the guy did go to, to SEALs training. He's a really interesting guy. Um, you know, he's lived a crazy playboy lifestyle. His father is mainly successful because his father was, I think, a billionaire or had a couple hundred million dollars. His dad was a very wealthy individual. So Dan was just on uh, the PVD podcast, which I think is a, tr is a great podcast, Valuetainment. And I was listening to him talk about Israel. And, you know, he has a, I mean, you know, he, he's done, it, it sounds to me like he's done, a, he's watched a couple videos about Israel and Palestine and, and um, a little bit of history of, of Israeli-American uh, foreign relations, but like I said, it, it, he, he has the knowledge and in, 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 in he talks like somebody who has a, a, a very limited understanding of, of, the, of this. Um, some of the things he said were true, most of them were not. He said that Israel was trying to steal land and that's why they allowed October 7th to happen. That's patently and categorically um, false. Um, and that's a narrative that the Palestinians and Hamas have been trying to push. Um, trying to think what else he said. Um, he said that they lied about weapons of mass destruction pretty sure that that was the Bush administration, which, okay, there were some Jews in there. Um, uh, um, Paul Wolfowitz, one of them. Uh, so, yes, there may have been Jews that were in it, but the Bushes also knew, uh, Cheney knew, Rumsfeld knew that there were no weapons of mass destruction. So saying that, like, that Israel knew, I think, is... is um, is a mischaracterization of, of the facts. And then he talks about the Talmud and he purports these, these super vitriolic verses that look admittedly terrible, but they're gross um, misinterpretations. Some of those were just, some of them were just completely um, fabrications, things that were never said. And, and again, like, where is he finding this information out? You know, the whole, you know, the, the, this just sounds like the modern day blood libel. You know, they're, they're look, it, and, and what really, what, what, what's really the, the anomaly to me is not Dan Bilzerian. I mean, Dan Bilzerian doesn't strike me as a super bright guy. He strikes me as somebody that, you know, he actually kind of strikes me as somebody that is interesting. Someone that um, would be an interesting person for sure. He's lived a really cool life. Um, but, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be taking my foreign affairs, um, and now I wouldn't be, be, be keeping up to date with foreign affairs by listening to uh, Dan Bolzerian. You know, again, and, 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 and this, is, this is the danger of the internet. The, the danger of the internet is that anybody can post any amount of information and as long as it's it is it's entertaining and easy to digest, people will just eat it up. They don't have the intellectual discipline to actually study a very complex topic. I mean, Dan clearly is not that bright. He's not educated. You know, just because somebody has money doesn't mean that they're educated. All right. Um, it, it, it just means that they have a lot of money and they're good at business. I mean, there, there, does, does, is there some intelligence that's required in that? For sure. But, you know, don't, don't think that 
the amount of money that someone has and the amount of intelligence that they have are directly proportionate or directly correlated because they're not. So, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because in the comment section, you know, people, oh my God, finally, wow, Dan is fearless for speaking the truth. The truth. This is a perspective. Is some of what he's saying true? About did the USS Liberty happen? Did the Levant affairs happen? Yeah, that did happen. Okay. Um, is this a genocide? No. It, did did the Israelis um, evacuate everybody and tell them to go south to Rafah just so they can kill more Palestinians? No, they didn't. Hamas started firing from Rafah when these innocent civilians were were being evacuated there, and that's why Israel fired back. So. You know, again, like, he, he clearly hates Jews, he clearly hates Israel, and, you know, that's not to say that he couldn't have a Jewish friend or something, because, you know, there's very few people that, 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 that truly hate a certain race or a certain religion to the point where they wouldn't even associate with someone from that race. I mean, how many, t how many people of your friends say the N-word, or say stuff about Hispanics, or gays, or Jews, or whoever, right, immigrants, but like, I think most of most people have some decency in them and if they saw a gay person or a black person or a Hispanic person or a Jewish person or a Muslim person getting beat up in the streets for their for their whatever they are that, that they would you know search, won't want to defend them you know I think most people have some decency but the problem with the internet is that there's so much information out there that people just jump to whatever is cool and right now it's cool to be pro-Palestine You know, and, and because the narrative is that, you know, it's it's an extension of the whole Black Lives Matter type of, you know, victimhood, victim, victim, or victim oppressor men, uh, mentality, worldview. And, you know, in this case, you know, it's not the white police officers against innocent black men. It's the white European Jews suppressing or oppressing the brown indigenous Arab people of Palestine. And that's just simply a, 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 huge, a, a huge miscalculation and distortion of what the truth really is because many Israelis are actually not white and they do come from the Middle East, from Yemen, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Iran, uh, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, um, all, all over the Middle East. And they were forcibly kicked out um, shortly after the state of Israel was founded in 1948. So to say that, like, you know, it's just like, are there European Jews there? And, and have there been, you know, massacres both ways? Sure. But the reality is, is that if you look into ancient history, there's never been a nation called Palestine. Um, there wasn't even a, a, a push for a Palestinian nation until, um, if, if you want to be really liberal, maybe about the 1920s. And that was really a response to a lot of Jews emigrating from Europe. Um, so, you know, Dan, I don't know what it is about the Jews that Dan has a, a bone to pick. Um, I theorize that it could be the fact that he's Armenian and Israel is supporting Armenia's biggest enemy, um, Azerbaijan, under the Nagorno Karabakh region, which is a disputed territory between the two respective nations, and it would make sense that Dan, Dan is, you know, very has a very strong um, uh, Armenian identity. You know, him and his father went over to Ar Armenia to get citizenship, so it, 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 you know, Armenians were persecuted a lot. So he, maybe he feels stabbed in the back that a fellow nation that got persecuted would arm another nation that's because Ar Azer Ar Ar Azerbaijan is. A, a, one, it's a Muslim country, but it's also a Turkic country, um, such as Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan. Um, so they're they're very related to the Turks, and obviously the Turks committed the Armenian genocide in in, uh, in the early uh, 20th century. So, guys, it's it's fine to have an opinion either way, but like saying like he's speaking the truth. Andrew Tate speaking the truth, like no one's speaking the truth. 
people, some people are closer to the truth. Dan Bilzerian is not one of them. How, how do I know this? Like, so first of all, I'm going to highlight everything that Dan said, and this is just off of memory. And, and admittedly, I should have written this down, but I didn't. So off the top of my memory, first he says it's a genocide over there. With Israel's weapons, they could wipe out all the Palestinians in, in a few days if they wanted to. It's clearly not a genocide. Have there been a lot of civilian casualties? There have been. It's also one of the most densely populated areas in the world, and Hamas militants are known. It's 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 a well-known fact that they hide behind civilians uh, as, as human shields. So, um, did the fact that if Israel let this happen so they could, as a land grab, I think is extremely stupid. Um, why would they want the Gaza Strip? The only way to get the Gaza Strip would be to kill all the Palestinians. There's 2.3 million Palestinians living in the Gaza Strip. They've killed 40,000 of them. It's hardly um, a, a, a genocide. It's, 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 it's a lot of people. Is it sad that there's innocent people have died? Sure, but that's not a genocide. Is it a massacre? It's, it's war. You know, it's it's a weaker country that attacked a, small, a stronger country and a smaller country fought back. I mean, if you're 5'10", 150 pounds or 160 pounds and you go up to a, a guy that's 6'5", you know, 280 pounds, you know, with ripped with muscles and you punch him in the face, you don't think he's going to hit you back as hard as he can, as hard as you hit him? I mean, there's no, there's no proportional response in, in, in the real world. This whole proportionality thing is completely, completely a, a farce. That's one, that, that's the second lie. Um, the lie, the, the, another lie would be that they knew about weapons of mass destruction. I mean, first of all, there's no way for him to know that. Um, maybe some Jews did. Maybe some people in the Bush administration had knowledge of that. But did Israel as a whole, were they withholding that information? Maybe they were, but. You know, again, like he doesn't really have any any facts to back that up. Um, again, that's a belief that he has because it conforms to his worldview, which is that Israel, to his own words, is a, is are a bunch of parasites, and they're and the world would be better without them, as he's also said. Another thing he said is, oh, you know, uh, JFK wanted to designate APAC as a foreign entity, and shortly after he did, he was going to do that. The he got assassinated. I mean, there's there's as is, is many ways till Sunday as, as to the amount of, conspira of theories there are how, why JFK got assassinated. Was it the mafia? Was it bootleg? Or was it, um, you know, the, the fact that he wanted to get off the gold standard? Was it the, it, it the fact that, uh, was it the communists? Was it the Russians? Because he, the Bay of Pigs incident when, when Russia put nukes on our southern, uh, off the coast of Miami in, in Havana. Who the fuck knows? So, was it the CIA? I don't know. None of us know. Um, but 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 the the conviction that he speaks with, like like he knows he knows how JFK died. He knows that you know um, Israel knew about weapons of mass destruction being being a lie. This is somebody who is willing to believe. Anything that fits his narrative of what he wants to be the truth doesn't have real scrutiny. And what's dangerous about this is that you have, and Andrew Tate does the same thing, um, you know, a lot of these guys do. These alpha males, you know, the Wes Watsons, like they're so sure of themselves. They're so sure that they know more, that they know everything, that they're, that, that what they're saying is not opinion, it's fact. And the reality is, is that they, have, they, they, they don't know. They, they, they've watched a couple videos on this subject, and just like their content, which is very rudimentary, very, I guess you could say entertaining, but very, very easy to digest, not complex. They're not, they're not really, because a complex analysis of like, what the what the Talmud actually says, or this whole Israel Palestine issue, it's a really long history, and it's not entertaining, and it's not something that can be given in a ten minute or a five minute 
YouTube video. So, you know, Dan seems like somebody that that's the kind of type of stuff that he looks at um, in order to form his opinion. Um, does Israel have a lot of influence in our foreign policy? I think that they do. Is it perhaps too much? I think that that's an argument that one can make. Um, you know, does APAC uh, give a lot of money to certain politicians? They absolutely do. Um, but that's not because the, the, you know, you know, it's clear to me that Dan has this, you know, the Jews own all the media, the Jews own Hollywood, the Jews, the Jews own the banks. And this is a this is a mentality of a loser. I mean, for, for whatever it's worth, even if that's true, Dan's living a great life in spite of it. So he's profiting from it. You know, if he's benefiting from, from from it. So the thing is, is that you know these are these are age old, you know, uh, anti-Semitic tropes and canards that have been disproving. You know, this isn't anything new. This isn't anything original. Dan is just spouting off bullshit from the elders of the Protocols of Zion or the International Jew by Henry Ford or, 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 or various other books that have been written. And the reality is, I'm going to actually go in, I'm going to make another video, but I just wanted to really stick to Dan, Dan Bilzerian, because this is about him in the, in the interview with, with, Pat, with Patrick Bet David. And uh, so I wanted to keep it focused, but I will make a video as to, there are reasons why Jews um, have a lot of influence in Hollywood and finance and in the media. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's not really a conspiracy. It's pretty clear cut, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a little cliffhanger for you guys so that you tune into the next video. But uh, with all that being said, I'm sure there were other lies too that Dan said, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. I'll have to um, watch the video again. But but those are th th those are those are the main ones. So uh, that's that's what I've got to say, and hope this was elucidating. Thanks.